Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Midge Man HQ. It is currently 3 in the morning where I am, so I'm extremely tired. Only another reason. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Only another reason for me to make this video rather quickly, but we're going to focus on freighters. I'm pretty sure for you seasoned No Man's Sky players, you understand that these are extremely useful when it comes down to it anywhere from having a base teleporting on longer distances as you can see the upgraded hyperdrive range is over 2000 so and you know you can store a bunch of stuff on it like besides this you can also use storage containers and all that fun stuff so <clears throat> the objective here is to be able to find any freighter that you want, whether if it's the one that looks like mine, kind of like the Empire's Galactic Starships from Star Wars, or if you like the one that looks like a really long pencil, the choice is yours. But all you have to do is uh, we're going to be utilizing some of the mechanics here, or taking advantage of it, so to speak. And it's rather easy. Instead of using the autosave, mechanic we're going to be using the manual save which kind of like the same thing but you get slightly more control in this one so it'll start out with you just going to any planet and uh once you get out on that planet all you have to do is drop a save beacon this save beacon will let you save just like just like a automatic one but it is going to consist of a manual save instead so whenever my ship wants to go ahead and land here any day now all right so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get the save beacon out oh hold on a second keep forgetting that i need stuff for it all right there we go you can just throw that anywhere and wait a minute you guys saw that right it's not just me going crazy there we go all right so once you save now this is going to help us later on so when we go to find a freighter uh, it, the choice is yours. Once you find it and you liberate it from the enemy pirates that are currently trying to destroy the freighter, you get to take a look at the freighter through the commander, or you can just look at it, and if it's not what you want, then this is where the save beacon comes in. Now, since we saved, you'll be able to go to reload manual save. That is what the save beacon does for us so instead of a auto save it does a manual so with that being said it's your choice if you want to leave this on the planet i tend to pick them up just in case if i don't come back you don't want to just leave those lying around it's a waste of resources how dare you all right so now that we got that manual save shoot out into outer space immediately go into your galaxy map and go to any any other system it could be any one of these guys if you want to slightly increase your chances what you can do is try to find any wealthy start uh any wealthy galaxies that are around so let's just go ahead and try to do that for the fundamentals here ah there we go so if we expand it it's industrial if you want to further increase your chances besides it being a very wealthy so if you look at the economy right there at the very left hand side you're gonna see stars one of three this one has three stars so that indicates to us in a very quick manner that it's a wealthy uh, galaxy or solar system whatever you guys want to call it and uh, if you look at the economy it says industrial you want to look for like an engineering uh, manufacturing uh, high technology high tech whatever the case may be and that will further increase your chances for this in the sake of the video and me being extremely tired I am going to just warp into this system right here and hopefully we will spawn in with a freighter battle now you are guaranteed 
especially if you're not using your freighter. If you use your starship to go into another solar system, it will be a guaranteed uh, freighter battle that you are going to, you know, go and liberate. Now, this only occurs once every three to five hours. So this is where the manual save comes in, because God forbid you go into another system, you see a really cool freighter, but it's a C class, and you kind of want to start out with like at least an A class, or if you want to ball out, go for an S class, then uh, then that's when that man you will save comes in. So as you can see right off the bat, we are inside of a battle right now, so I'm going to do my ingenious work. I'm just murdering these pirates right here. Let's see how many we got. We got, oh Jesus Christ, we got eight of them. Well, I hope you guys like watching battles gonna be a tiny minute maybe not I upgraded the hell out of my fighter Here's a little tip, for when you're going in these uh, combat situations, try to refrain from shooting the freighter. Because even though you're helping, one missed bullet and that's it. They, they think you're out for blood and they will also try to kill you and then it just kind of becomes more of a pain in the ass. Let's see, we got one guy left. Oh no, alright, we're good. Alright, dope. So uh, if you guys were paying attention earlier in the video when I showed you my freighter, my freighter is the exact same type as this one, but it's significantly larger. I mean, look at this midget ship. I, I will actually, you know what, I guess it would suit me since uh, that is my gamer tag, but we're not going to worry about that. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy, make him feel important, whatever the case may be. We're going to just go right in here. Speak to the captain in person, see what he has to offer, even though I am going to decline. For any of the people who are wondering if I'm actually a midget, I am not. Thought I might as well hash that question out now, rather than answering 30 comments of it. You guys are welcome. Alright, so let's talk to this man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for saving me, blah, blah, blah. You really appreciate me. So we're going to inspect the freighter. Alright, so this is surprisingly a B-class. Usually when you first go out and uh, it's your first combat uh, of the day, they're usually like C-class. But let's say for this case, which is definitely in my case because I'm not going to get this tiny ass freighter I mean look at that it's fucking pathetic um, if you guys do not like that what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hit that manual save and what is what this is going to do is that it is going to basically wipe everything that we did all the way up until the point where I showed you guys landing on the planet and putting down that manual save and then it's as easy as just going back out into outer space and going to a different solar system. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that in this video. It's gonna be a little bit longer, but if you guys wanna stay tuned, basically you guys already have all the information, so if you wanna stop watching the video now, you can. Just go ahead and take this. Go out into the wild of No Man's Sky and enjoy the freighter finding. Please let me know in the comments what you guys find. And if you do like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I promise that more future content will be pushed out to you in the future. YouTube is uh, difficult sometimes. I'm just going to wait for this progress to finish up here. Alright, nice. Make sure to take your stuff wasting resources is a no-no so one more time we're gonna shoot out of here in outer space 
This time I'm just gonna pick a completely random one because I'm 100% sure that it's gonna shoot us into another freighter battle. If you guys have any questions, if you guys have any recommendations that you guys want me to make in my future videos as to making airlock doors, uh, finding certain resources, even if you guys want to put your friend code in the comments so then we could play in the future, I'm more than happy to. I always try to comment as soon as I can once you guys make those comments available onto the videos. Sometimes these loading times can be a can be a bitch. Oh, and look at that. It's even one of my freighters. How interesting. Man, they don't they don't call me a genius, but I like to claim it sometimes. All right, so uh only 5 guys this time. A little bit less to worry about, so we're just going to go ahead and do that and then we are going to take a look inside of this freighter just so that you guys can see that it is uh, different not only in size and class of the starship all right awesome hostile ships defeated let's try to get in here before the captain contacts me In the event that you guys are still watching this video and you do not need to do this because you already have a very nice freighter, go ahead and leave a comment on what type of freighter that you have and what class. I am always interested in uh, what people's freighters are. Love the different types out there. Everyone's always have a specific taste. I'm always interested in that. Alright, so we're going to inspect the freighter, and look at that, it's still B-Class, but at the end of the day, this is not the midget freighter that we were looking at once before, and uh, it does come with some slightly different items this time. Technology is also on the lower side, but nonetheless, you guys are already seeing right here before your eyes that this is a completely different ship. Same type of model, but I mean, if you just keep doing this, you'll find plenty of other ones. You'll find the pencil ones, you'll find the ones that look like a flat iron, which, I don't know, it's very, very interesting, the type of freighters. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that's really about it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe. More future content will be pushed out to you. The guy looks weird. And that is it. Stay tuned on more future videos. Ninja Man HQ signing off.